What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So a couple of days ago I uploaded a video that looked like this which pretty much tells you how you can get that initial starting uh, like bonus of the knowledge points and the video was very popular like 20,000 views so it seemed like a lot of you guys really enjoyed this video. Now this week is finally reset which means that we have other means in order to acquire knowledge uh, points as well. So I figured I would make a video so you guys don't miss out on any of it. So before we dive into it, big thank you for all the support on the 0 to 10 million gold guy. It's been absolutely amazing and it makes me super happy to see that you guys are enjoying all the frequent updates that's getting done to the war within version. Uh, when I say war within version, it's the same gold guy that came out four years ago. But every single time there's a new patch or a new expansion like this, I just simply update the same gold guy to feature the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to acquire hundreds of millions of gold. So if that sounds interesting, you can find it in the link down below in the description. And by using the discount code STUDENT, you will get it for 50% off. So one important thing to do is to walk into Dornigal in the main building where you would pick up the profession bag quest for the first time. And then there's going to be uh, an artisan uh, quest where, which pretty much requires you to fill in crafting orders. And this is important because this is a new feature in uh, the War Within. Like, you don't have to actually craft items for people. If you go to uh, the work table on your profession, and in my instance, it's going to be the tailoring's work table. You can click on that and then you can see work orders. But there's a new tab that's called the patron or patron. I have no clue how to pronounce it, but it's there. And these are work orders that's uh, being uh, like just given to you by NPCs. So these will never go away. And you can simply just fill in and craft these items for the NPCs in order to complete your quest. So really, really easy way of acquiring two uh, profession knowledge with whichever profession that you have. Another thing to look out for is to go to your profession trainers, beginning some questions about this, where to get the weekly quests. But if you go to your profession trainer, the profession trainer will give you a quest granting you plus three knowledge as well. So really, really good. And on that note, seeing this is a skinning profession, uh, when it comes to gathering professions, you can now get a weekly cap of knowledge points by just simply performing uh, your gathering profession. So if you have herbalism, you just randomly pick herbs in the open world and you would just randomly gain these uh, profession points, these knowledge points. Same thing with mining and skilling uh, as well. So just keep that in mind. Make sure to do that. Even if you have parked out so you don't really plan on farming that much on, just make sure to at least do it enough to get those knowledge points weekly. And another thing that's really worth mentioning that I saw in Wowed that people discovered, so obviously no credits to me on this, but it is definitely worth mentioning. And that's the fact that you can get bonus knowledge from open world treasures. So you will get plus two knowledge. And uh, there's two different knowledge point items that can be looted from treasures. Now, these treasures are a lot of things in the open world. You can see there's uh, different ones for your profession. And there's, uh, in some cases, one uh, like one uh, point for uh, like crafting professions. And then uh, like alchemy has plus two. You can see that mining is plus one. So I'm not sure what the difference is and why does jewel crafting have plus two. And then you have something like leather working that gives you plus one. But the uh, the open world treasures that we're talking about are not like one time use treasures. So for instance, if you go into, uh, as I think it states in this guide as well, uh, like right here. Some of the examples of open treasures are machine speaking reliquary, Arathi treasures, and smuggler treasures. These are not special one time with treasures, but so in white treasures that are fairly common. And you see these all the time, like just simply by flying around in, let's say, a holofall, and you'll notice them pop up on your mini map constantly that there's a treasure close by. You just loot those until you get the knowledge books. So that's pretty much it for uh, how you can get some nice, easy. Uh, knowledge points weekly. I do have to say though that you're definitely going to acquire more artisan like the uh, this currency right here doing these sort of quests and doing sort of new crafts and so on. So don't forget to go and purchase the uh, the next books that you can once you get more uh, more currency like you can buy even more uh, 
like plus knowledge books on this uh, artist and vendor. So keep that in mind as well. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. But if you want to see more videos, even before they go live on YouTube, consider signing up to the VIP uh, Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon where you support me as a content creator. But in return, you get access to this VIP server where you can watch all my YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube. But you also get access to exclusive gold farms, investments, spreadsheets, and you get prioritized invites to join my group farms uh, for gold whenever I'm live streaming. So that's going to be linked down below in the description together with the 0 to 10 million gold guide. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you all back in at the next video. But until then, bye bye.